Let us now look at the concept map of Vietnam against two colonizers. Let us learn about the national liberation movement in another country, Vietnam, the colonial experience. In the mid-19th century, Vietnam was under the rule of France. The Vietnamese emperor was just a puppet in the hands of French as they virtually ruled Vietnam the way Britain ruled India. During the rule of the French, some of the aspects of interest for the French during their rule over Vietnam were the exports, the peasants and in landlordism. In order to develop Vietnam as a prime exporter of rice, the French implemented a threefold approach that included improving irrigation network, encouraging the landlords, increasing market for agricultural products like rice and rubber. During the rule of the French, in particular in the Mekong Delta, the cultivation was increased by building canals and drainage lands. The rice production and export of rice to the international markets were increased with the construction of vast systems of canals and earthworks. By the year 1931, Vietnam exported two-thirds of its rice production and became the third largest exporter of rice in the world. Later, many infrastructure projects were carried out like roads and railways for the transportation of goods and services. Moreover, a trans-Indochina rail network construction was started to link northern and southern parts of Vietnam and China. The French did not pay any attention for the industrial development of Vietnam, as major part of the colonial economy was related to the rice cultivation and rubber plantations, which were owned by the French and few Vietnamese. In rural areas, the lives of poor peasants became miserable. It is because the poor people were exploited by the landlords who even took over the lands of small peasants.